It's, uh, it was a wild ride, and uh, Ryoma and his plane trend got murdered because I didn't respect the god. Which, uh, I mean, it's certainly a mistake you're not going to make twice. And Lambda Driver. It's rude to call a lady that. So now we're gonna do the the other routes we missed. The we're gonna do the the Gundami routes, and we're gonna be using more reels with the supers of choice being uh, Aquarian and maybe Shinji. Shinji isn't bad. Shinji and Kaoru have got really good spell list, and his robot does loads of damage. It's just not as good as it was in 3-1. Like, Asuka, Asuka and Mari are definitely way more borderline, but we've got like 500 Gundams to deploy first before we get to them. <laughs> Easy! Easy! Go stand next to her. So, Shiku does the thing where she's all superior and is like, I see why the Geminis had trouble with you, but they're garbage and I'm cool. And then she leaves. But whatever, we're doing it. How's it, how's it going on Earth? What's the Earth defense is like? And Liam doesn't say shit, which tells us everything we need to know. Let's get out of here, we've got to go set things right. So, side roll attacking everything, we got to get out of here. And uh, maybe Hibiki will finally get to fight his shitty angel. Tenchi. Tenchi. And, Earth's last line of defense broken. Uh, the King of Chrono is like, well, I guess uh, the Chrono's reason for existing has just completely gone off the fucking deep end. And also, the history of mankind is also over. Bye, everybody. But the King of Chrono man does say that he thinks that utter despair can be averted. So the side reels have got a lot of firepower amassed on the green earth and after two months of fighting the blue earth is about three quarters subjugated. Uh, ongoing resistance uh, against the so-called Gaia Kingdom is not going well because the emperor in question, Emperor Australis, is the leader of all of side reel. And Yeah, ah, oh, the early days. The early days when there's just a dude from space taking over the Earth. Ain't nothing weird going on. Yes, here we go. Side reel, the war power is immense. They're gathered on the green Earth. Two months of fighting, it sucks. The Earth's 75% done, we're, it's over. And there's resistance against the Zagaya Kingdom. But Emperor Stralis is real and strong. Here are regular people getting murdered because... Fuck. How do you deal with aliens? It's impossible!
I'm dying! Don't worry, Andre's got this, even though he killed his fucking dad, he was cool. And didn't do anything wrong. But, here we are. Yes, absolutely, yes. Um, Side reel uh, construct identically named terminal bases along lake lines, and to get like dimensional energy, which is being concentrated somewhere called Wrath Babylon, the capital of the Guy Kingdom, but nobody knows why. Uh, Side reel forces aren't going easy on those they conquer, and uh, oh, oh yes, I'm Emperor Astralis. I'm called. I'm the Lord of Side reel. Cower humanity. Yeah, the ley lines thing, which is where dimensional energy gathers. And they're putting people into, like, they sort in people out into work camps and stuff and sending them off to Wrath Babylon, and it sucks. And uh, those granted citizenship are rumored to be sent off for hard labor. And Vildark's cool. I give him a thumb up. At least we'll get to see Susanna's angry face again. Angry face. So the Empire has conquered this region and the citizens are being given a test as to whether they're worthy to become new citizens of the Gaia Empire. And it was like, ooh, what's that? Ooh, ooh a test. Ooh, don't like the sound of ooh. So they're like, ooh, ooh, ooh interesting proposition. Some people are desperate enough to take the test to, for survival, while others are skeptical over the idea of being welcomed into the Gaia Empire's city, Wrath Babylon. Yeah, he says Wrath Babylon's up there. Uh, there are rumours saying that people who get sent there have never come back and there's no way to get in touch with them. But they knew if they failed to become citizens of the Gaia Empire, they'd be treated like slaves. Which sucks. And then a soldier comes in and he's like, Yo! Shut the fuck up, dude! Hits him with his gun. Kisama, scum like you need to shut up and be subjugated. Fuck you, dude! I'm walking here! And Thor's like, right! Time for you to fucking die! But then, uh, Suzune and Hibiki show up and like, uh, fuck you! What? You got something to say, scum? Uh, yeah, killing people's wrong. Fucking kapow, Hibiki with the Jeet Kune Do. Like, what are you doing? Attack is like, check this out. Fucking one inch punch, nerd. Gah! Friggin' side reel. Bunch of full of shit, and I hate him. Nice work, Kabiki. And then he's like, Susan, let's uh, tell the citizens that we're here to save them so we can help them out. We're cool with the resistance. We're part of. Z blue, Z blue. Scenario one: New Earth Empire. The SR point is defeat all enemies in three turns, which I'm pretty sure we did. Which is fine. Oh no, they're attacking everything indiscriminately. How could they? So uh, they've sent out drones to attack everybody, and yeah, like things are getting blown up. It's just it's, fuck it. Send out the drones to murder them. Oh look, it's the police bees. And now the resistance like, ah, oh, shit, this sucks. Ah, uh, mm, they're gonna execute all of this. And his calendar is like, don't worry, we got this. S stay strong. Mazin Gol calls in Jiminian. Well, it's just Jenian right now, isn't it? Fucking out of the fucking ground, like Satan himself. Wow. Remember when Hibiki tried to eject Suzane? And then she just teleported back in. Is like, this is my special power, you fucking idiot. You forget that shit. What? A robot here? This? What the heck? Duh. And then uh, Susan says uh, the ground troops have stepped back and started to board their machines. 
Vicky some guy, and then Vicky says, tell Kalanin um, to evacuate citizens, and uh, we're going to do some shit for AG, because he's not a fucking asshole from hell or anything. I mean, he fucking is, though, right? And this map has, like, no good spots to stand on, but this one will do. You don't stand a chance coming out with your peacekeeping models. I won't let you lay one finger on this town's people. Fucking Hubiki, shut the fuck up! Coming at me with a peacekeeping model? One for subjugate, one with water cannons and shit? You can't be a robot with concentrated jets of water. Oh no, he's cut my robot off. Remember when the police bees just never show up ever again? Fucked up. I'm sad that those guys didn't get reused a lot compared to the Arcus who were diabolical. <laughs> whoop whoop, it's the sound of the police, V. You're right. Help the police. Help the police. Uh, B-Lease? Would B-Lease work? Police? Police? I'm gonna tweet about my cousin's kid. I guess our other super is going to be Hibiki because he fucking is though, right? Absolutely, 100% a super. Okay, well this is going to be turn two, and there's two dudes who are three dudes who are currently unhurt, so I got to get into like here, mm. here. Dude, then you'll kill that one. Yeah, turn on the fucking clamps. Let's do it. We haven't seen the clamps in a really long time. Hibiki, I want you to be the one who takes my glasses off. Uh, you just talk to AG if you want your pilot suit changed. Fucking fly. Piss orf. Uh, no, go big and fucking murder him. And then you can use the guns on the other two because they're already hurt. Oh, 
we can friggin' guy. Ba 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 da ba ya ba ba. Oh, got him. S star point gotten. We did it! All enemies done! Oh no, more showing up! Piss! And uh, these are AI in Earth made machines, so. Ugh. But luckily, that blue show up, we're good. And Hamuro lost the new again! New he's had the new for five fucking games, and he's had it taken away and upgraded to it three times. Four times? No, three. Three times, because in Z2 he just shows up in it right away, but near the end. So here we are. Let's have a good time. It's like, we got your back, Hibiki. And they said they were able to sneak through the defense line while Hibiki was fighting. Uh, Amuro here says that Kalanin was able to evacuate all the citizens with the resistance. And then Osma tells all the resistance to stay the fuck back and protect everybody on the ground, because this is a robot fight. And they're like, sure thing, got it. Thanks for helping us out, Zeblo. Bye. So, they leave. Maybe he's gonna attack with boss, and he's like, let's go, boss. Sure thing, with you can hang out with the boss of Mara and be the cool dude of all of Japan. And then, uh... And I was like, nice work, good pair out. Let's show these title fucks what's up. And Otto says, be careful, because uh, other enemies might show up. <laughs> fuck it. To be fair, fuck Kabiki though. Like, just fuck Kabiki. He sucks. The dude who does his voice though is alright, and it's like the first thing he's ever done or that he's gone under this name for. And he's pretty good at screaming Advent all the time, so I give him props for that. We're going to be using Emma a lot, by the way, because. The Gundam Mark II is fucking good. And by that I mean it's my favourite Gundam. It's cool as hell. And uh, the dude who does the thing doesn't have what Emma says, because why the fuck would you? He's like, Far, don't fucking get me killed because you're in the stupid methods and you're bad. Got it, Emma! Captain, uh, Lieutenant Emma, let's show them we can fight too. I refuse to believe that the Methus was like the first ever like transformable like it's the prototype transformable suit because look at it and everything after it's so much cooler <laughs> and better Yeah, these little weird fellas who are like the guys from Aquarian. <laughs> Emma doesn't have any Oh, we've got the gold emblem. Brilliant, thanks. For having like a million ace to dudes. Emma's fucking ace now? When the fuck did that happen? That's a, it's like her support damage is like plus 20% or something. Garbage. These guys are ace too. Uh, crit is only costs 20, but he doesn't fucking have it. Um, anyone affected by a command aura is like plus 10 crit, plus 10 accuracy, I believe. Plus 20 crit, I mean. Fuck you, Hathaway. Just fuck you. Osmos is like double song. Like Osmos is super fucking good. Uh, this isn't good. The Empire's conquest is spreading faster than we expected. Where things are going, it's only a matter of time for them to take over eighty percent of the world. We're here to precisely to keep that stop uh, to, to keep that stop from happen. Close eye, please. We're here precisely to keep that from happening. Let's drop every one of them. Come on, Friday, full power, Roger. 
I wish, like, everybody, I think everybody else has got different lines for the different shit, but then Emery is just like, Mark 2! And we're in the Mark 2, here we go! I mean, it's her robot, to be fair, but also. Calm the fuck on. Go for it, Sasuke. We'll wrap this up quick and you can get back to your sweet Kaname in Japan. Watching over Chidori is simply my mission. Please don't start with that nonsense. And then now he's like, Nonsense. Is that nonsense what's pushing you to be so excessively hasty in today's battle, Sergeant? You shut up as well. And if you've got time to chit chat, then take out the enemy ahead. Roger, I can see that you're very inspired today. <laughs> that was good. And they voice loads of like novel only lines. Well, it's novel only so far for for Metal Pet. They voice loads of them in the game. There's lots of weird things where they went above and beyond, and then other points where it's just like wasted potential. Uh, I mean, it's fine, I guess. Was he in? He's in a fucking Jigen, but the Jigen sucks in the sky, and he sucks on the ground. Purge that shit. Bwam. Bwam, bwam, 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 bwam. Where's that? We can't get the new Gundam over to me in our current situation. Hamaro. I'm alright, Hathaway. More importantly, you need to be careful. Bright's counting on you. Right, all right. Back me up. Uh, I'll do as much as I can with the riggers. Yeah, I wonder why the Mark II never got the Super Gundam upgrade. Because I'm pretty sure it gets it in Z1. It's the, like it gets the Super Gundam upgrade. And um, they're doing a Robot Damashi web shop exclusive of the um, Super Gundam. And it's the Mark II, and you plug all the shit on it, and it's cool. But it's also like fucking 120 fucking dollars, and it's like I like the Mark II, but I don't like it that much. I'm I'm fine. Plain friend, why are you do this to me? Luca, I finished compiling the data sent by Major Kalanin. But, unfortunately, they haven't found either Cheryl or Anka. I see. Where are you, Cheryl? Anka, the Cyrilo kidnapped you too? Like, the Rugas loses the all attack, I think, when you purge the flying parts. But, Hathaway sucks in the air. And, the other thing sucks on the ground. And Hathaway's way worse than Amaro, so I'd rather, like, bow down to his level. Yeah, like I'd rather bow down to his level on this one. Let's go for you're a way cooler girlfriend than far. Wow. Fighting these localized battles only means we're slowly getting backed into a corner, but be patient, Camille. You need to focus on the job at hand if you're going to survive. You're right. I'll throw everything I have into this. Four, give me a hand. You got it, Camille. And when Four fucking died for real, eventually didn't this game. So it's fine. So, they jack Earth's weapons and add them to their forces. The Empire is conserving its own toys, eh? The enemies are a bunch of drones. We can't get any info from these, so we don't need to hold back. 
Alright, let's end this bunch. Remember when Michelle fucking died, but not for real? And we were only allowed Super Clan like three turns. In an L, if you don't save Michelle, she can fly uh, his plane. Just a tiny little girl in a big plane. And no all attack, but she can get the all attack moves. It's all shit. What's the Empire doing kidnapping people? Hold on, Renka, I promise I'm gonna find ya. I mean, what do these do? What, like, these little tanky dudes who shoot missiles from their shoulders? What the fuck are they gonna do against a fucking plane? Like, let's be honest. <laughs> Got him. We did it, can anyone step closer to fucking freedom? Dang it, the Kai Empire's even gotten uh, this close to Japan. If they keep going, Japan will... Like hell they will! I'm putting them down and stopping their advance right here! Japan hasn't been taken over because that's where all the fucking robots live. <laughs> it's impossible to take over because they're full of shit. They've got all sorts of weird garbage. Even the kids have got robots. Enemy troops engage in the ship. They may be incommunicable, but other Z Blue members are also fighting elsewhere. We'll also persevere. Time to teach these Imperials a lesson. Get em, Moro. Vega Cannon. Fire! Probably don't need to wear the normal suit, Otto. Like, it must be hot. Like, if you don't have the helmet on, making it a sealed environment, it's got to be fucking boiling, right? Fuck you! Fucking cats. That's another dude who sucks. Audrey. Audrey. Audrey, where are you? Will I not see you again now that I'm unable to contact Lieutenant Ridley? Get your head in the game, Banaji! The enemy's right there from fucking cats who dies when a rock falls on him. I understand. I'm not gonna die here either. Why not put cats in the flying thing with Amaro in the flying thing instead of making a shit team for no reason? Like we got two. Oh, we got one garbage team. But one thing that's all right. Yeah, we got infinite guy mode. So let's get chunky. Fuck it, let's get boss instead. Time to kick ass, Vicky. They're gonna invade Japan if we let them continue. Right. We'll take them all out and stop their advance. You got guts. That makes you worthy of being partners with the amazing boss! Isn't it Miss Suzanne you actually want to be partners with? 
Uh, you figured it out? Hold that thought, boss. We're gonna have a talk after these guys are dealt with. Ah, oh, crap, boss! <laughs> we told you Hibiki doesn't get these sorts of jokes. Back of your up! Dumbass! I did that on purpose to get him pumped up to fight. Yeah, now that you mention it, he has been brooding a lot these few last few days. Talk all you want, but you were still making a pass at Miss Suzanne. Well, that was just an afterthought. Enough chit chat. We're gonna we're going in, boss. Right on. Let's give these mooks what for. Buddy, your fucking buddy is called like minion and idiot. So chill out. Wow. <laughs> I listened to the uh, Kanji Te Night original, which is night as in night time instead of night as in Sword and Shield fella. And it's exactly the same except instead of rock me, it's sexy. And it's about having sex. Who even knows? Spaceships and navy ships all they got weird. Fuck them. Boss doesn't even have the Koragani five. Or the butt drop or any good moves that he should have, because it's boss well rock. Good to see Alco shitting it up for fucking everybody though. Get him, boss. Get him, boss! Then we'll be able to upgrade people and do things after this stage. Oh no, he's fucking dying. That's okay, Vicky will step in and look after him. We still get no explanation for the AIs being weird bearded guys though, right? Never happens. So many mysteries. Left unsolved. Who's good? Imagine if they gave him a fucking lambda driver, the shit he'd be able to pull. Most of Eurasia under the Gaia Empire's control, victory here may not mean much. Nevertheless, I must show them there are still people in this earth willing to fight back. Jeffrey's good, and he's also really good at surfing, and he fucking surfs by turning a giant fucking ship wheel when the Macross Quarter is never controlled via that method <laughs> anywhere else because it's the fucking girls with the joysticks and shit. What a, what a, what a guy. Hathaway, we gotta get you fucking started, dude. Beam Saber. Oh, maybe these guys are together because they're both that Mint sea foam green. <laughs>
getting bops is good. Five turns in. He didn't. It takes me five turns to kill these four fucking dudes. End my life, please. Just destroy me. Remember when the methods didn't have any post movement moves and it was a bad? And now it's got a post movement move and it's bad. Essentially, the it sounds happy, but actually, it's not. Boss is strong. And he's gonna get double cooker. And the repair kit. All enemies down. And then. What the heck? That's a big old boat. And it's Tavaran. Tavaran Tao. He's, he introduces himself. And he's like, I'm a, a middle aged blue haired man. And I'm general under the command of Strauss. He's like, Strauss? That was the, that fucking dude. Yeah, we heard about that guy. And he says, Zilu, your efforts are meaningless. You got no chance. And then. Jeffrey says, Commander Dabaran, you're, uh, well, we are currently weaker than the Gaia Empire. We will eventually defeat you and save the Earth. So, uh, look out for that. And then Otto's like, everybody out, we're leaving, full retreat, bye. Maybe one day I will get an honourable fight against you. Uh, yeah, he just hopes that we'll provide some entertainment for him. So, at the Macross Quarter hangar, everyone's like, oh, jeez, this sucks. Tessa comes in and she starts talking about the ley lines. And uh, they've been installed all over the world. The, the, 
when the Empire came in and did its shit. And it's technology totally outside of Earth's realm, like our stuff. And everyone's was like, must involve some like dimensional energy flow, right? Uh, she mentions it can replenish uh, energy and fuel and stuff, and she speculates that dimension energy involved. Uh, she thinks it's being uh, extracted from the Earth, and then Alto is going to mention it's like a goddamn zone. Yeah, there you go. It's like in Salam's uh, zone, and uh, I hope he doesn't go berserk and destroy Earth, because that was bad when it turned everything into fucking dust and in Salam was destroyed. And then Tessa speculates that. Um, the Empire means to conquer Earth, and uh, like they want to conquer Earth to get the dimensional energy and transfer it to the green Earth. Uh, they ask uh, how long we've got before the Earth goes down, and Tessa's like, I've got no idea, sorry. And then if he's like, well, we should probably stop them as soon as possible, and it was like, yeah, we definitely shouldn't just let them do whatever they want. And then Tessa says that all the ley lines are connected to Wrath Babylon, um, but a lot of our machines are worn out or damaged, and most of our forces are scattered throughout the Blue Earth. And then everyone's like, dang it, it sucks. And gets hella frustrated. And then Alto says, uh, and then Susan A says that everyone should take a little break. And uh, Tessa agrees and uh, says we should head back to Japan. And. Hibiki somewhere is going to be like, what will happen to our beautiful Blue Earth? And... The Guy Kingdom now in 74.90. Oh good, we can do the D-Trader. Good. Ah oh, sweet, we got loads of shit for something. Uh, who fucking knows? Anyway, it's uh, in that.